The Russian Klimov RD-33 and American General Electric F-404 are two advanced turbofan engines that are used in military aviation. They have separate specifications and applications. The RD-33 engine has historically been less fuel-efficient than the F-404 engine as a result of the absence of full-authority digital engine control, FedEC, a computer-controlled system that regulates engine performance. Nevertheless, the inclusion of FedEC in the RD-33 MK makes it helpful to compare it with the F-404 GEN-20, which is currently the latest and most powerful version of the F-404 family. The RD-33 MK engine is well-suited for high-performance aircraft such as the MiG-29K and MiG-35, as it generates a maximum thrust of approximately 88.9 kN with afterburner. It is capable of effective maneuverability and combat capabilities due to its dry thrust of approximately 49.4 kN. In contrast, the F404 GEIN20, which is used in India's Tejas LCA, has a slightly higher dry thrust of 52.2 kN. However, its afterburning thrust is approximately 81.6 kN lower than that of the RD33MK. The RD33MK is optimized for high speed performance with a focus on thrust generation rather than fuel efficiency, as evidenced by its bypass ratio of 0.49. This is indicative of its design and efficiency. In contrast, the F404 GEIN20 boasts a bypass ratio of 4.4, which not only increases fuel efficiency during subsonic flight operations, but also provides substantial thrust when required. The weight disparity between the two engines is also a factor. The RD33MK is approximately 1,145 kg, while the F404 GEIN20 is lighter with approximately 1,080 kg. The overall weight distribution and performance characteristics of the aircraft they propel may be influenced by this difference. Both engines have been designed to provide an extended service life. However, the RD33MK has an operational life cycle of approximately 4,000 hours, which is longer than the Indian F404 version service life of approximately 3,600 hours. The RD33MK is particularly engineered for MiG series fighters, MiG 29K, KUB, and MiG 35, which necessitates solid performance during carrier operations. On the other hand, the Indian F404 version is used in multi role combat LCA Tejas, highlighting its adaptability to a variety of mission profiles. The thrust to weight ratio is an additional critical performance metric for jet engines that impacts the overall performance and agility of aircraft. The thrust-to-weight ratio of the RD33MK engine is approximately 7.76, while the F404 GEIN20 engine has a slightly higher ratio of approximately 7.87. This suggests that the Indian 404 version has a marginally superior thrust-to-weight ratio than the other engines, despite the fact that both engines provide exceptional performance. This advantage can improve the agility and performance of an aircraft in specific operational scenarios. The RD33MK engine generates a maximal afterburning thrust of approximately 88.9 kN, which surpasses the F404 GEIN20's output of approximately 84 kN when comparing thrust output. This implies that the RD33MK may be particularly effective in combat situations due to its potential to deliver superior performance in high-thrust scenarios. The Indian F404 version provides a slightly higher dry propulsion, ranging from 53 to 54 kN, than the RD33MK, which has an output of approximately 49.4 kN. This implies that the F404 GEIN20 may be more efficient during non-afterburning operations. The operational implications are also significant. The RD33MK's increased afterburning thrust could provide aircraft with this engine improved acceleration and climb performance in combat situations. In contrast, the Indian F404 version's increased dry thrust may result in improved fuel efficiency during standard operations. The RD33MK is particularly adept at generating maximum thrust in afterburning conditions, whereas the F404 Indian version provides competitive dry thrust capabilities. Consequently, 
both engines are well suited to their respective aircraft roles. Is it possible for the Indian LCA Tejas program to use the RD-33MK as an alternative engine in light of the logistical challenges and delayed deliveries that GE is currently experiencing? There are numerous factors that influence the feasibility of transitioning from the general electric engine to the Klimov engine. In comparison to the RD33MK's output of approximately 88.9 kN, the GE engine generates approximately 84 kN of thrust with afterburning, albeit with slightly worse performance in specific scenarios. Nevertheless, the process of transitioning to a different engine type necessitates a significant amount of integration work, which includes the redesign of an aircraft structure to accommodate the new dimensions and weight distribution. The fuselage and internal systems of an aircraft, such as fuel lines and mounting points, may require substantial modifications due to the disparities in dimensions. In addition, the safety and compatibility of existing aircraft systems necessitate rigorous testing and certification procedures for any new engine integration. This results in an increase in both the costs and timelines associated with engine switching. Although India has established the capacity to overhaul and produce RD-33 engines, the substitution of the GEF-404 in programs such as LCA Tejas presents logistical challenges as a result of historical context and suitability concerns. The LCA was developed with the F-404 engine from GE in mind. Therefore, the integration of an older design, such as the RD-33MK, may not be consistent with the long-term strategic objectives of attaining self-reliance in advanced aerospace technologies. Although it is technically feasible India to transition to RD-33MK if necessary, there are substantial obstacles to overcome in terms of performance adaptations, structural modifications, certification procedures, and the establishment of new logistical frameworks. The emphasis remains on the development of indigenous capabilities to guarantee that India's defense requirements are satisfactorily addressed without sacrificing technology or performance standards. Now, do you think RD33MK will find a bigger user than India other than the Russian requirements? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.